Hi, everybody, and welcome to the AdStock 2020 Showcase on this beautiful uh, summer's day. I'm Rosie Hand. We've had a couple of technical difficulties, um, but we're going to press on now. Um, I'm, I'm the Programme Director of the Masters in Advertising here at TU Dublin, and it has been a little bit different this year preparing for our showcase. Um, but we've been really lucky with our brief. The students have been working with Fulcher Ireland, and they have been tasked with marketing Ireland as a domestic holiday destination for a post-COVID Irish audience. I'd like to thank Gemma Flanagan, Cuivin Iduvin, Niall Tracy and Olive O'Brien from Fulcher Ireland for trusting our students to work with your brand. While this work is self-directed, the students have been guided along the way over the last five weeks by a, man, a band of mentors. I'd like to thank Lynn Tracy, Shane Holohan, Ashley Stewart, Antaine Conway, Grace Hughes, Jerry Kennedy, James Carr, Daryl Moorhouse and Owen Ryan for their commitment to the students. I'd also like to thank our three judges who are giving up their time to review and assess today's work. Um, we have Dylan Elliott here from TBWA, Margaret Gilsenen from Boys and Girls and Craig Farrell of Starcom. We've got a lot of messages of support from the advertising industry um, today and uh, they've sent messages of support to the students. This ongoing support of the industry, and of course IAPI, is particularly important to us. I'd like to thank Colm Harmon and PML also for their consistent support of the programme. So today, after five weeks of hard work, we have two teams who are ready to present to you today. The first is 4x5, and the second is Gen Zoom. They're a very international cohort, and each team has been made up of creative and executive students, and they have 30 minutes to make their pitch. Before we begin, can I ask our Zoom audience to mute their microphones if they don't mind, and also if they don't mind to put their view to speaker view. I'm going to hand you over to Leona first from 4x5. So over to Leona, off you go. Thank you. Thanks, Rosie. Um, so firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much to Falcha Ireland for giving us this opportunity to work on such an important and relevant brief at the moment. It has really been a new way of working for us, but like so many across Ireland, including you all, we have adapted and really come together despite the distance. Now, just on to the next one. Next one. So together, we are a team of copywriters, strategists, media planners, art directors, and we tell stories. We're playful, daring, and meaningful. Four by five is the youngest sibling, the darer, the stirrer, the troublemaker. We draw on the walls and we muddy the carpet and we dance in the good room. We are four by five, come dream with us. So we're gonna start off today by giving you a little bit of context before moving on to research and how this has formed our strategy and creative before then looking at our media plan. So as we know, Falcha Ireland is the National Tourism Development Authority of Ireland. Their role is to support the tourism industry and to work to sustain Ireland as a high quality and competitive tourism destination. The COVID-19 pandemic is of global significance and has affected every aspect of our world. In approaching this brief, the biggest challenge was being aware of and responding to the changing socio-cultural sensitivities that consumers are facing in their everyday lives. And this has really impacted the tourism industry. Our task has been to develop a marketing, and, uh, marketing strategy and domestic marketing campaign for the post-opening phase that seeks to promote and drive a sense of urgency and immediacy to take a holiday once COVID-19 restrictions are lifted in order to rejuvenate the domestic Irish holiday market. And in doing this, we are empathetic to the emotional state of our consumer and aim to reassure them to travel. I'm going to hand you over to Charlotte now, who's gonna take a closer look at our Irish consumer. Thank you, Leona. Sarah and I would like to invite you now on a journey with us. So when we received our client brief in April, we were given the task of creating a campaign that would target all Irish adults, a challenge which we warmly welcomed. Just to give you a little context about we, what we knew before we began our primary research was that Irish adults ranked second in the world as being the most concerned with issues relating to COVID-19, in that they were feeling high levels of anxiety with concern for their well-being as well as financial worries. Despite this, 
The research we were provided with suggested or said that 43% of Irish adults would still intend to take a domestic break within the coming six months. And of those then still int intending to take the, these breaks, they would most likely return to these habitual spots that would help them feel safe. So Fulcha Ireland define Irish adults into three domestic life stages. As you can see here, couples, single adults and families. Now, as a group, we were well aware of the constantly changing narrative that was surrounding COVID-19 on a day-to-day -day basis. Every day, a new statistic would be released, a new headline published. And with that, we recognised the importance then of being as, as up-to-date and part of this changing narrative. So with that, we conducted a rigorous primary research process, which consisted of quantitative surveys, qualitative interviews, and online ethnographic studies. So with that, following the, using the benchmark provided by Fulcher Ireland, our research then suggested that Irish adults aged 25 to 64 will be the most inclined to take a domestic break within the coming six months. But why is this group so significant then? Well, firstly, they make up 53% of the population. So even despite these financial uncertainties that we are facing at present, as a collective group, it would indicate that they have the highest spending power. Furthermore, 43% of Irish adults within this age bracket have already taken a domestic trip within the last 12 months. So for a huge proportion of the people that we are looking to speak to, this is something that is already familiar to them and something that is already known. With that, and given that domestic travel really is the only feasible option when looking to the future, we saw an opportunity here to step in and help remind Irish adults what how wonderful a domestic holiday in Ireland can really be. And with that then, redefining what the term holiday actually means to them. So within the re research that was provided to us, Fulcher Ireland had outlined the three top motivators that our different uh, domestic groups select when choosing to go on a domestic holiday. Now, we were well aware of the fact that this information and these findings were within the context of a pre-COVID environment. So we were really interested to find that within our primary research, despite these uncertain times that we find ourselves in, Irish adults are still looking for these same kind of things within a, when taking, or sorry, when thinking about taking a domestic break. And furthermore, due to these circumstances that we find ourselves in, 79% of our survey respondents said that when they were, if they were to consider a domestic break, they would do so with giving great consideration then to outdoor activities. So now we know what our tar target audience want, let's sit back and empathize with how they're feeling. This challenging time of great uncertainty has caused people to experience a huge amount of emotions. Our findings effectively showed that there are three main uh, feelings that were experienced by our target audience. These three themes were concern, appreciation, and hope. So naturally, like many of us, these people were concerned about traveling. In fact, 50% of our respondents showed concern. This concern was surrounding normality after restrictions are lifted and what that would look like for people. Secondly, on a more positive note, it was evident there was a newfound fondness towards Ireland. This shows how grateful people are to have so much beauty on one small island. As you can see here in the slide, Maeve, who's 64 years old from Wexford, was hugely impressed with the community spirit that she has felt during The one unifying theme that was rooted in our research was hope. This optimistic feeling that people had was clearly visible through the challenging times that everyone had, had been experiencing. People feeling a sense of detachment has given them hope that they will soon reunite with the things and places that they love. So we know who we're speaking to, we know what they want and we know how they're feeling. With that then we needed to identify challenges that may be presented to our target audience and throughout our rigorous researching we identified two key barriers that our target audience were facing, confidence and expectations. So confidence is, sorry, confidence relates here to not only the concern that our target audience have been feeling in terms of their well-being, 
but also then this uncertainty of what they're able to do and when they can do it. Secondly, then with expectations, none of us really know what this new normal is going to look like. This is particularly pertinent then for our target audience when thinking about taking a domestic break where they don't know what to expect. But we saw an opportunity here and identified two key objectives that we would want to take in order to help our target audience along their journey in taking a domestic break within this, the, the post-recovery period. So one, use Fulcher Ireland's name as this trusted and known name or official name to our audience that would act as the kind of the green light and the go ahead and support our target audience within the, these stages. And secondly then, we were surprised to learn that a huge proportion of our target audience considered a holiday an opportunity to travel abroad and to get out of Ireland. So this opportunity we wanted to take in showing people that a holiday can be as simple as reconnecting to the people and places that they've been missing the most. So with that then, what this all kind of break down, breaks down to. The business problem for Fulcher Ireland, firstly, traveling has been deemed unsafe. And as a result, the tourism sector is going to take a substantial hit, particularly through loss of revenue through peak summer months. The human problem that we identified was that our target audience are apprehensive about making plans. They don't know what they're able to do, when they will be able to do it, or if they'll be even able to follow through. And furthermore, as we've mentioned, our target audience have been feeling this great sense of detachment from the things and places that help them feel most like themselves. And this is where Fault to Ireland comes into play. As we all know, Fault to Ireland are experts, not only in selling Ireland, but in helping people reconnect. We've seen this demonstrated through the 2013 The Gathering campaign. So this is how they can help our target audience. And with that, I'd like to hand you back to Sarah now, who is going to reveal to you our insight. So the basis of our campaign has come from, an, from the emotional language shown to us by our target audience in our collateral research. That hopeful feeling has given us our insight. Irish adults want to reconnect with the things that make them feel most like themselves. In order for them to do this, there is a need for reassurance and stability so people can feel safe along their journey. That hopeful feeling of reconnecting with things people value and miss the most has given us the inspiring one line strategy. Find yourself again through rediscovering Ireland. So based on our findings, the team decided that the most effective way to reach our target audience was through an inspiring, encouraging and supportive tone. I will now pass you over to Jimmy, who will talk you through some of our creative work. Thank you guys very much. Our lived experiences have a physical, profound and lingering effect upon us. They imprint themselves onto our souls and we carry them with us through life, through our bodies. People, places and objects imbue our lives with meaning and memory. They make up our stories. So without further ado, the big idea behind our campaign is Fulcher Arish, welcome again. Fulcher Arish is a physical journey of rediscovering ourselves. It is about writing the next chapter in our stories. It is about experiencing again for the first time our renewed fondness for the places and little things that define who we are a way to reconnect and find ourselves again through our relationship to Ireland. COVID-19 has denied us from experiencing our homeland and therefore a part of ourselves has been lost. This campaign revolves around the idea of embracing our homeland and therefore reconnecting with part of who we are again. It is a glimmer of hope, a reminder that things are possible once again. It is an act of encouragement, of reassurance. Our aim is to elicit an embodied response that motivates Irish adults to travel again. The campaign reassures them that they, are, that they can act without paranoia or fear, that they can finally return to the person they were before the world seemed to come to a sudden halt with a renewed sense of vigor and appreciation. Again, we can enjoy the little things. Again, we can explore. Again, we can breathe. Fulcher Arish, welcome again. 
I will now hand you over to Kerry, who's going to talk through our campaign executions. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm so excited to show all of you all the executions for our Fulcha Arish campaign, which covers TV, radio, out of home, social, digital, and activation. So first, we have our TV commercial. This is the initial storyboard that inspired it, and I'm going to talk you through the shots to help you visualize it. We want to use Ireland's beautiful landscapes to create a really impactful ad, and we want to reinforce that with some really inspiring copy. So the 30 second commercial will begin with a panning shot through a lived in yet empty house. We'll see a bedroom and a home office, and it will be apparent that someone's been living here quarantined, probably working from home for a good while. Then it will cut to an extreme close up shot of a woman swimming alone in a lake. She's stretched up towards the sun and she seems serene and peaceful. As the camera pans out, we can tell that she's swimming alone in a lake in Glendalock. The scenery is stunning and she looks completely at peace. So I'm now going to play you the audio and I invite you to close your eyes and visualize our story with us. We have always been storytellers. Stories live in the land and they live within us. It's time to step outside, to embark on a journey of rediscovery. Time to fill up our lungs and breathe. For this land is more than just an island. It is our story. And this is the new chapter. Falcha Arish, welcome again. Next, we have our out of home advertising. We're going to use 48 sheet and six sheet posters to make a real impact on the public. And we, with our visuals, we want to intersperse beautiful landscape with shots of people reconnecting with Ireland. As you can see, they have a real sense of mystery and intrigue. We wanted to create something beautiful with our out of home posters to show people something really lovely after being inside for so long. And the posters read, Fulcher Arish, time to breathe again with our tagline encouraging people to map their story on the Discover Island site. We also have animated digi boards to create a sense of movement throughout the campaign. We want to show people actively reconnecting with Ireland once again, moving around and leaving their mark on the land after a time of convalescence. And this is an example of how one of the digi boards would look in situ. So next we have radio. We have two 30 second radio ads, one to air at the start of the campaign and one a few months in. Our intention with this first ad is to use emotive copy and poetic language to paint a really vivid picture for our listeners. Most of all, we want to reassure them that it's safe to travel again. Our island is filled with memory, fragile moments from days long ago embodied in cities, mountains and oceans. Now it's time to step outside. Time for new memories to forge yet uncharted history. For this land is more than just an island. It is our story. It is every one of us. And now it's time to write the next chapter. Falcha Arish, welcome again. This second ad is intended to be aired a few months into the campaign. We're aware that attitudes are changing all the time surrounding COVID-19 and the very gentle tone of the first ad may be less appropriate a few months down the line. So because of this, this ad is a bit more direct. It actively promotes specific tourist destinations, encouraging the listener to get out and explore the joys that Ireland has to offer. You know, the cliffs of Moher will just be cliffs without you breathing life into them. It's just going to be the Atlantic way without you to make it wild. And the Ring of Kerry will just be a vast stretch of land without you. You see, Ireland isn't just a place. It's a people. It's a sense of adventure within us, within you. And Ireland is ready to welcome you back. Falcha Arish, welcome again. Our social ads have the same visuals as the, as the out of home advertisements and these animated beautiful visuals will hopefully inspire people and spark a sense of hope when they see them when they're scrolling through their feeds. Next, we propose a collaboration with OnPost on a series of Fulcher Arish postcards. We're aware that OnPost has already run a really successful campaign using postcards 
and we feel like this could be a great extension of this. As well as this, Onpost and Fortune Island are both extremely trusted brands. They're a voice of trust and authority. Because of this, we want to post one Fortune Arish postcard through the door of every household in the island. These beautiful images will serve as a message of hope. And we also feel that the intimacy of posting them to houses, reaching people within their homes, really adds to the message of Fortune Arish. It's as if we're knocking personally on people's doors, taking their hand and telling them it's okay, it's safe to come outside. Next, we want to create a standalone website as part of the campaign, the Memory Mapper. This interactive map will connect people and place, encouraging people to place geotags on locations within Ireland that are special to them. Then they can anonymously write the memory associated with that place. We envision that over time, it will act as a time capsule of sorts, a collection of stories and milestones unique and special to us. So here are some stories that we thought you might find on the map. In Cork, one might read, I was six and my parents were going through a tough time. My dad was sick, my mum exhausted, and we were broke. My grandparents took us all on a trip down here. It wasn't fancy, but to me, it felt so magical. That weekend was the first time I saw my parents laugh in ages. Another might say in Don Leary, we had our first date here. You bought me a 99 and seemed like you wanted to know everything about me. I still think about you. Or in Kalani, it might read, I came here for cycles with my best friend when we were teenagers. We took picnics, climbed rocks and swam in the lake, even though our mums told us not to. Next, we want to take these powerful stories and create art with them. So we will use the best stories from the memory map to create uplifting, beautiful murals on buildings all around Ireland. We will collaborate with local artists to paint these quotes and we want them to act as messages of positivity to reflect the diversity and beauty of Ireland and its people. And we feel like over time, they may even become attractions of their own. This is an example of one of them which could read, I came out to my parents here and thought I'd lose them forever. I didn't. Or another one might say, I got my first place here. I learned how to be happy on my own. Overall, we feel the murals would be a beautiful touch to the campaign and really reinforce the message behind Fulcher Arish. So I hope you love the creative as much as we do. Thank you so much for listening. And I'm going to pass you over to Tim to talk about the media plan. Thanks, Carrie. So as previously mentioned, we are focusing our campaign to a broad audience. From our research, we have identified that while there are different segments and generations across this audience, they are all connected in what they seek from a break post lockdown. From a media perspective, it is our job to understand the media consumption of this audience to identify the best channels for us to deliver our message in the most efficient and effective way. Using TGI, we identified that digital was the most consumed channel followed by TV and radio. These channels will therefore be the bedrock of our plan. The role of our media plan first and foremost is to make sure that we deliver to our audience the reassurance that they need. To do this, we're gonna focus on broadcast channels where we can reach large audience to drive that reassurance with a major focus on video across TV and video on demand and supported by out of home and radio. Additionally, it is our job to drive in interactions. We wanna drive interactions with our activations that the creatives have spoken about and drive interactions in getting people to our site and ultimately to take a domestic break. To do this, we are focused primarily on digital channels where social will take a lead role. We will be also using a multi-platform partnership with RTE to amplify our activations and maximize that interaction. Uh, so next one. Yeah. Uh, we will be launching our campaign. Um, uh, actually, can you go back? Sorry, Sarah. Uh, there we go, yeah. We will be launching our campaign on Friday, the 10th of July, maximizing impact as we lead up to the reopenings of all the parts of the economy in August. Our campaign will go live across our digital video channels on TV, YouTube, broadcast, visual on demand, and social. We will front weight activity in July and August, but given the need to make up lost ground in the, in the dom domestic tourism market, we will have a continuous presence by pulsing our TV and broadcast in September throughout November, always running social video and YouTube in the background. So we will also leverage our partnership across RTE 2FM and also RTE's website to amplify our key activations. Our postcard partnership with OnPost will launch alongside our TVC 
And again, we will leverage our partnership with RTE to amplify this by featuring some of the artists in sponsored content on site and on air. Our RTE partnership will really come into its own with our memory map activation that will work across uh, the whole schedule, getting two FM personalities to submit their memory, their own memory photos onto the map while encouraging their listeners to do the same. Um, throughout uh, this, can that, that um, some of the best images will be featured on a gallery wall on rte.ie. So, the memory map will fuel our murals, which the creative team have spoken to. Throughout September, October, and November, we will recreate some of the best memories submitted in the murals, focusing on high traffic areas of well-lit th areas throughout Dublin. Um, again, we're going to work with RTE to feature uh, stories of each mural and the memories associated in, spon in a sponsored editorial. We will extend our out of home campaign through large format main city campaign, focusing on a fully illuminated sites. Our out of home activity will run over two cycles in October, delivering supplementary reach as we reduce our reliance on TV in the more ex expensive months. To judge the effectiveness of the campaign throughout its duration, we have chosen three metrics to monitor the campaign's effectiveness. We decided to monitor the growth within the Irish tourism industry, the traffic to both Falshaw Ireland's website and the memory mapping website, and finally, the consumer ad recall regarding our communications. The specific KPIs we will work with are the reported earnings from tourism related businesses and the number of hotel and accommodation bookings being made, as well as the traffic source, bounce rate, time spent on page, reach, impressions, and interactions from our digital sources. So uh, as you will see from our budget breakdown, video has received the largest proportion of our budget. This is because video is the most influential channel for travel and is a multi-sensory one. This offers us the opportunity to deliver our creative message in the most compelling way. Video is also the most effective and efficient way to deliver reach and build awareness. The social and our partnership combined are the second most important channels and are key for driving our interactions. Uh, as we saw from our media consumption, digital is a vital channel in terms of the, consumer, uh, the consumer's time spent on these channels. Radio and out of home will act as supporting channels as we start to tail off our TV spend in the more expensive months. Um, so a visual breakdown of our budget and media plan. So here we see the total cost of the campaign with production coming in at 260,400 euros, the media coming in at 650,000 euros, and 45,100 euros accounted for re uh, remuneration. And, and finally, a layout of our media plan timings for the duration of the campaign. Um, and now I'll hand you back over to Leona, who will close us out. That's great. Thanks, Tim. Um, so to conclude, through research, we have identified the wants, needs, and desires of our target audience. We have acknowledged the economic pressures Ireland will face, and in turn set out to build a campaign for Fall to Ireland, which displays a more reassuring, welcoming, and uplifting Ireland, an island filled with hope a country that is rich in little things for our consumer to rediscover themselves in and feel free and excited to travel in again. A camp campaign which includes out of home, TVC, radio, social, digital and personal activations. Fáilte Arish, welcome again. We hope you have enjoyed this journey as much as we have enjoyed planning it. On behalf of 4x5, thank you. Thank you very much, Leona, for closing there for four by five. Um, it's going to take a couple of minutes, or rather a minute or two, for uh, I'm going to ask four by five to leave this Zoom call, and we're going to welcome in our next team. Uh, our next team is Gen Zoom, and when they're all there, we'll be able to start with the second presentation. Thank you very much to Charlotte and her group. Um, for presenting their work. Um, I think you're getting some claps there. Really? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we have, do we have Jen Zoom ready to go? Yes, Jen, we're all yep. here. In okay. the house, yes. Right, so just the housekeeping again, if we could mute our microphones, anybody on this Zoom call, look at things in speaker view, if you don't mind. And I am going to pass over now to Jen Zoom and welcome 
Sarah Reynolds over there in Canada. Hi. So, hello. My name is Sarah Reynolds. I'm the creative director of Gen Zoom. Welcome to the second act of Ad Stock. I'm sure you were impressed by the first half of the show. We were too. But trust me, this is just the beginning. This is Ad Stock. We are Gen Zoom, and we're here to close the show. The fastest bullet in the world travels at 3,000 kilometers per hour. That's three times faster than the speed of sound. You won't hear that bullet coming. Were you expecting the usual about us buzzwords? Innovative, charming, creative? Fair given. Don't worry, we're not about to waste our time or yours. You see, Gen Zoom and bullets share something in common. We work quickly and we work quietly. The only difference, we don't devastate or destroy. We create, and we create with a quiet brilliance. Can you hear us? Trust us, we're coming. We are incredibly grateful to have been given the opportunity to work on such an extraordinary brief. We thank you. Fall to Ireland is the National Tourism Development Authority of Ireland, and they have been industry leaders in research and strategy. They work to showcase the amazing things that Ireland has to offer, and tonight, as a team of Irish students led by two Canadians, we will do the same. Without further ado, let the show begin. Thank you, Sarah. My name is Amelia de Fabrides and I am the executive lead for Gen Zoom and also the other Canadian for the team. Just four weeks ago, Falsha Ireland tasked us with developing an innovative and human-centric marketing strategy that would revive the domestic tourism market after COVID-19. Our campaign will be employed in the first six months of the post-opening phase. And although this is a short-term campaign, we hope that the results of the campaign will provide longevity for the brand and work to sustain growth in the category. So how do we start? Well, first we have to understand how our consumers were thinking. And you don't have to tell me that because of COVID-19, we are in an incredibly unique situation right now. Understanding how people would feel would be vital in developing our strategy. First, we carried out a survey to gauge people's opinions and attitudes. I believe Amelia is having some technical difficulties with her Wi-Fi. So, um, oh, sorry. are you back? Great. I'm back. Yes, I apologize. All right. Sorry. So, as I was saying earlier, we wanted to understand how people were feeling, and this would be key in developing our strategy. So, for our primary research, we, did, we carried out a survey to gauge people's attitudes and feelings. Our initial survey reached 220 responses. Then two weeks later, we carried out another survey. And the reason why we did this is because we wanted to measure changes in consumer attitudes and habits as quarantine continued. But we also didn't stop there. We also conducted 15 semi-structured interviews. These interviews were done a week after our initial survey to understand what the key themes of their survey was to better develop more in-depth interview questions. We also did an ethnography using Twitter and Reddit, as well as a deep analysis of market data. With all this, we were able to understand exactly how people were responding to the pandemic and how that might affect our approach. So we learned a lot of key takeaways and we learned a lot about people. We first learned that people rely on familiarity and comfort in times of worry. We also realized that people miss their social lives. Connections with family and friends are becoming much more important. In our initial survey, when we asked people, what do you miss the most about your life before quarantine? Anything in the world? 50% of our survey participants said that they miss their family and their friends. 20% also said they miss their overall freedom, freedom to do whatever they like to do, whenever they wanna do, either if it's going to the next town to visit a friend or going out to have a pint. We also learned that predictable everyday experiences mean that they long for some excitement. As time progressed, our second survey identified that 79% of people said they would be more likely to go on a holiday before COVID-19 while well, results are in our initial survey expressed that less than half participants were actively considering a holiday. So we do see this change in trends over time with our consumers. 
Unfortunately, the unpredictability of today's environment has affected confidence in committing to future plans. So with all this data that we have, what does this really signify? Well, we can determine through these key findings that Irish people value memories and experiences with their loved ones. This situation has given people the opportunity to really sit back and reflect on what's important to them. So with all this being said, we really want to develop some key marketing objectives for this campaign. First, we want to promote that holiday in Ireland is not only an effective way to re-engage with the things that you enjoy doing the most, but we also wanted to reassure people that Ireland is in fact a safe place of holiday and that HSC safety guidelines, such as social distancing, are strictly followed. So of course, there's no point of having these marketing objectives without having a way to track them. So we wanted to develop, we wanted to get the total number of domestic holidays from August 2020 to January to 2021 to increase by 10% from last year to a total of around 6 million people. We also wanted the average spend per person to increase by 12% to 205 euros. So with all this being said, all our research and all our objectives, we wanted to really understand who are we targeting. In our client brief, Falter Ireland provided us with a comprehensive breakdown of three different target demographics. They were couples, families, and single adults. Our research identified that people age 18 to 30 would jump at the opportunity to take a holiday as soon as they can and really don't need to be encouraged to do so. On the flip side, adults over the age of 50 typically have a greater and more particular concern over health and safety and they want to wait longer than is necessarily required in order to feel comfortable taking a holiday. So that leaves us with families and middle-aged adults. This is our target market and these are the people that we want to speak to. But before I move on and tell you how we propose to do that at GenZoom, it is worth mentioning again that right now we are in an incredibly unique situation and taking COVID-19 into consideration, our appeal can reach a multiple demographics and engage with more people than ever before. Personally, I think it's fair to say that every single one of us would love nothing more than to get away on an Irish holiday. But with this being said, here's Louis Kush, who's going to take you through how all our findings have been used to develop our creative brief for this campaign. Thank you, Amelia. Even though Irish people are looking forward to going on holidays, we knew this wouldn't be an easy task, as COVID-19 has caused many problems which we had to deal with. First of all, from a business point of view, the Irish tourism industry will be affected like never before, as each business will have to adapt to every new restriction put in place. Irish people want to help local businesses, but may not be willing to travel and spend money during these uncertain times. It'll be difficult for businesses to plan for the future, as this is a situation that we've never seen before. COVID-19 has raised concerns regarding rent, wages, and opening dates for almost every Irish business. From a people perspective, the human problem driving our business problem is that with these restrictions in place, people are worried that their holidays will suffer and experiences will be ruined. The desire to go on a holiday is there, but people are worried about wasting time, energy, and money on their plans falling through yet again. People are worried that bars and restaurants won't be open and whether it's worth going on holidays at all. So with these problems in mind and the findings from our research, we arrived at one key insight. And that is, stuck at home, with no clear divide between work and play, people just crave new surroundings. And what we mean by this is that people are no longer able to do the things they once loved and simply require a break. And luckily for us, Ireland is a great place to go for a break. And Fulcha Ireland's uh, reputation as being industry leader in research and strategy has put them in the best position possible to communicate this feeling of escape. So taking all of this into account, the single-minded proposition for our strategy is that holidays facilitate change and give permission to break free. So without further ado, I'll let Sarah Reynolds and the creative team run you through our campaign. Thank you, Louis. So looking at this insight, we knew we had to come up with something that responded and resonated with Irish people. It meant waking up to lots of frantic phone calls, lots of late night meetings, not to mention a time difference, but it was worth it. We found some ideas that might've worked, but nothing screamed, that's it. That was until we came across anywhere, sweet, anywhere. Through many different ideas, we always kept coming back to this one. And I think that's because it really encompasses how many of us feel in the current situation, anywhere, 
take me anywhere, anywhere that's not my childhood bedroom filled with boy band posters. Now, during these strange times, many great ads have been released by a lot of our favorite brands. And a lot of them are lovely and emotive messages about staying strong and inspiring hope. We noticed though, that these ads were quite serious. They lacked humor and lightness. Now, not to make light of the situation that we are in, we wanted to inspire people to book a holiday, not to dwell on their current situation right now, but instead to look at the amazing things Ireland has to offer because it's about an escape and it's about taking that well-deserved Irish holiday. That's the beauty of this campaign. Yes, it was born out of a really tough situation, but that the inherent message in this campaign will apply long after COVID-19 is gone. Anywhere Sweet Anywhere is about breaking free. Breaking free from your everyday routine, from the stress of quarantine and the endless circles you probably walk around your neighborhood. It's just about going anywhere else. It's not so much about the place as it is about the release from the lifestyles we've been living. Now, not to say that your home isn't sweet, I'm sure it is, but being stuck inside for months on end can make it feel a little less sweet. With this campaign, we want to remind people there's still fun to be had, and that fun is right here in home sweet Ireland. Well, it's not my home, but it is yours. Now, our creative team is going to take you through our Anywhere Sweet Anywhere campaign, and I know we're really excited and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Now, here's Ellen Jones with our TV execution. Thank you, Sarah. So for this 30 second TVC, we want it to be something people can relate to. We wanted to reflect the current situation people are experiencing while being stuck inside and show their desire to get back out again. That being said, we wanted to have a lighthearted and humorous tone that would differentiate it from ads they may be used to seeing during this time. Hopefully it'll give them a chuckle and lift their spirits a little. We hope that this will be shot remotely in the home as we've seen from other industry campaigns as to avoid the safety risks of an actual shoot. So to help show this idea better, if you just bear with us a moment, we have a video we'd like to show you. We open in the interior of a house. Traditional Irish music plays. Ireland. It's a place of unrivaled beauty. A home sweet home sign hangs up on the wall. Mountains. Taller than you could ever dream of. Mountains of dirty laundry sit piled on top of the bedroom floor. There's nothing quite like the gentle caress of the sea breeze against your face. A husband blows cold air from the hairdryer at his wife's face. With the other hand he sprays her with the water from a spray bottle. His wife winces and squints trying to enjoy herself and clearly failing. You haven't lived until you've tasted traditional Irish foods like... The wife places some sourdough bread on the table. Sourdough. Quick cuts as day after day she places sourdough bread on the table again and again and again and again. The husband nervously behind him. Still lots and lots of batches of bread to go. You're never stuck for something to do. In the sitting room, the husband takes out his golf clubs his Wii controller is tied to the handle of one and the Wii Sports plays on the TV. He launches the club backwards, a crash, as fancy ornaments behind him shatter to pieces. His wife stands behind him, utterly horrified. So now that you can go, why not go? We cut to the interior of a car as the family piles in. The husband sits behind the wheel. The wife sits in the passenger seat and breathes a sigh of relief. Anywhere, sweet, anywhere. They smile at each other. As the car pulls away, our slogan, Anywhere, Sweet, Anywhere, fades onto screen alongside the Discover Ireland and Fulch Ireland logos. So that was a run through of our TVC. As well as this, we'd also like to film short 15 second clips in a similar style to have more video content for TV. As you can hear, see here, we have a man getting ready to take a long hike up the stairs of his home. So now it's over to Andy McDonough with our radio executions. Thank you, Alan. Ireland has a lot of incredible beauty, and I can talk about the beauty of the Irish landscape. We can all agree on it and know that it's true. When you're only hearing about it, it doesn't quite have the same effect as if you'd actually been able to see it for yourself. Turns out when you're making a radio ad about all the amazing sights that Ireland has to offer, that makes things a little more difficult. And so, we decided to take a slightly different approach. What could have been a disadvantage, we've turned into an advantage, because with radio, we could do things that budget-wise, 
we wouldn't have been able to do with TV. Anything was possible. Now, we made sure to keep the tone of the radio ads consistent with the tone of the rest of our campaign, light and fun, but we were able to go a little more absurd. We've developed two 30-second radio ads, and in a moment, we'll play them both for you back to back. We'd normally fly south for the winter, but... Wait, humans act natural. <coughs> Sorry, go on. What were you saying? Normally the bird and I, we fly south for the winter, bring the whole family. But this year we've got better plans. We're staying in Ireland, have it booked already and all. Booked already? Fair play. Early bird catches the worm and all. Where will you go? Anywhere, sweet, anywhere. Take the perfect holiday. Take an Irish holiday. Anywhere, sweet, anywhere. A message from Falch Ireland. Home, sweet home. Right, so much rubbish around here. That is my lamp. A genie? You know the drill. You make a wish and I'll try ruin it for you. <laughs> it's my favourite part. Well, I'm going mad stuck inside the house every day. You're and... preaching to the choir here. Oh, right. Stuck in the lamp. Of course. Sorry. I want a holiday. I wish for the perfect holiday. <laughs> the Irish countryside. I thought you said you try to ruin my wish. What? Take the perfect holiday. Take an Irish holiday. Anywhere. Sweet anywhere. A message from Falch Ireland. Home sweet home. Now, you might normally expect descriptions of the luscious fields of green or the wind in your hair with loved ones by the beach. You might expect it because you've heard it before. So we wanted to do something that people might remember just a little better. Something to get excited about and to talk about with friends and family. This way, it's not only the people who have heard our ads that we're reaching, but anyone they talk to. All thanks to two talking birds and an evil genie. Back to Sarah now, and she's going to talk through our equally exciting plans for digital. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. So although our target audience is not digitally native, digital and social media are still a large part of our consumers' everyday experiences. We wanted to find creative ways to utilize these platforms to benefit and entice our audience to go anywhere sweet anywhere. On the Full to Ireland website, we wanted to create an experience for our consumers. We have created an Anywhere Sweet Anywhere personalized holiday maker. In the brief, it was stated that on average, it takes 29 days to book a holiday. To us, that seemed long. We figured a lot of it would have to do with the planning and organizing aspects of booking a holiday, as well as finding where to go and what to do. This holiday maker takes into account who you are and your travel preferences to assist in finding your perfect Anywhere Sweet Anywhere in Ireland. The function works to help take the stress out of planning and booking a holiday, as well as to make it easier for consumers who don't usually holiday in Ireland to be able to find the best places suitable for them. As you can see here, I've got Galway and I'm very excited to go after all of this is over. Next, our social media creative strategy is split into two phases. Phase one will promote the experience as well as urge people to go anywhere sweet anywhere. Using Facebook and Instagram, which are two of our target market's favorite social media platforms, we will use the first phase of our campaign to focus on reach, urging people to book holidays and to use the Anywhere Sweet Anywhere personalized holiday maker. This phase will also introduce our hashtag, My Anywhere Sweet Anywhere, which is a call for videos and photos from the many amazing holidays our consumers take in the post-opening phase. Short videos, as Ellen said, will also have been filmed on the day of our TV seat. We will use this footage to create short, bite-sized social media content. As you can see here, a young couple is quarantined in one of their family homes. They're trying to enjoy a romantic evening alone, only to be interrupted by an annoying younger sibling. I can assure you, they definitely want to go anywhere sweet anywhere. Next, phase two, will utilize the content from the My Anywhere Sweet Anywhere camp hashtag on, the, on social, using it on Facebook and Instagram, as well as creating a second TV ad. The best content will be compiled and aired in the second half of our campaign in October and November. To encourage people to book trips over the Christmas holiday season, creating a second spike in domestic holidays taken during our six month campaign. So to show you what this will look like, we have a short video here to play for you. Home sweet home. 
that's what they say, or at least they used to. But I think it's fair to say that we can put that one to bed for a while. Now it's about going anywhere sweet anywhere. Because quite frankly, it doesn't matter all that much where in Ireland you choose to go. From the ancient east to the wild Atlantic way or anywhere in between, it's all pretty spectacular. And so are the memories you make. From winding up friends to those winding country roads. To eating cold ice cream on even colder beaches. From getting lost in conversation to just getting plain lost. Maybe it's time to go. Where? Go anywhere. Anywhere sweet, anywhere. So now that you've heard our digital and social strategy, I will pass you over to Ellen Jones, who will take you through our out of home creative strategy. Thanks again, Sarah. We decided that ultimately out of home was a good option for our campaign, as while people may be stuck inside now, they'll be out and about more and more during the post opening phase. They say a picture says a thousand words, so for the most part, I'll let them do the talking. So to start, we have the billboards that tie back in with our social po posts. As you can see here, we have the Irish map. And then in the next one, we have the personalised holiday maker. After this, we have a bus shelter. For this, we thought it would be fun to play off traditional Irish travel tickets. Destination anywhere, sweet anywhere. Finally, we have some six sheets and digi boards which show an Anywhere Sweet Anywhere sticker, ready to travel, on a suitcase, and then finally on the back of a car. We thought that all of these encompassed elements of travel well and were engaging enough to catch people's eyes when they were out and about. So now that's all from me. Now Louis Cush is going to bring you through the logistics of how our campaign will run. Thank you, Ellen. So as you now know, we are using video, radio, TV and um, out of home for our campaign. But before I tell you how and when we're gonna use these mediums, we had a few objectives. So first and foremost, we wanted to inspire our target audience to take a trip in Ireland within the next six months, anywhere, sweet, anywhere. We also wanted to drive traffic to the Discover Ireland website through paid, owned and earned media. So before we were able to choose our media, we had to look at the consumption patterns of our target audience. So here you can see that 65% of our target audience listen to the radio every day. 66% of our target audience listen or watch either video or TV every day. And over 75% use apps such as YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook daily. And um, so we knew we needed to think of a creative way to use our budget. And we thought a good way to combine video on demand, digital and radio was our activation Dermot and Dave touring Ireland, anywhere sweet, anywhere. Now the idea here is that Today FM radio hosts Dermot and Dave will use our personalised holiday generator, which Sarah discussed, live on air, which will generate them three locations in Ireland. The activation will last six weeks. The first three weeks will be about hype and exposure for this activation across uh, digital and radio. And the next three weeks will be the three consecutive weekend trips by our hosts. These radio personalities are very popular with our target audience and their adventures will be vlogged and made into a mini series on the Virgin Media Player. The aim of this activation is to inspire our target audience to follow suit and go on a trip anywhere, sweet, anywhere. For TV, we also knew we had to be selective with our programming to get our message across most effectively. So we decided it would be an ironic thing to do to sponsor all the shows that are filmed in people's homes. So here you see a sponsorship message, which would show before shows like Gogglebox, Grand Design and Come Dine With Me. Next, we have our budget allocation. As you can see, just under 50% we've spent on TV and video on demand, while radio activation out of home and digital take up about 12 to 15% each. Now you might be thinking that this is a lot of media uh, outlets for a six month campaign, but due to the current circumstances and the ever-changing consumption patterns of our target audience, we thought this was the most effective thing to do. Up next, we have a plan of when each of our mediums will take place. As you can see, digital will span across the six months of our campaign split into two stages. The first stage will concentrate on reach and exposure, while the second four months will concentrate on website traffic. Just like digital, TV and video on demand is split into two stages, the first two months will show our first TVC and the second three months will show our second TVC. 
Radio and the activation will take place just after the first TVC and will run in September and October, just before the October midterm break, which is a popular time for people to go on holidays. And Out of Home will also be visible in Dublin city centre across August and September as restrictions will be further lifted and the weather will still remain nice. Um, we have some KPIs for our campaign. Firstly, we want 92% of our target audience to see our campaign at least once throughout. We also want 68% of our target audience to see the campaign at least five times. Now, Amelia De Fabritis will conclude our presentation. Thank you so much, Louis. So we made it to the end of this journey. And again, we are incredibly grateful to have been given the opportunity to work on such an extraordinary brief. Throughout many trials and tribulations, our team has finally made it to this point, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our incredible client and the wonderful team of mentors that have helped us along the way. From our research to our insight, all the way to the beautiful creative executions, we discovered that holidays are about breaking free. They're about breaking free from your job, your family, or in this case, quarantine, and discovering anywhere. Our insight tells us that with no clear divide between work and play, people just crave new surroundings. This in turn fueled our single-minded proposition that taking a holiday facilitates change and gives permission to break free. We hope that our take on Anywhere has inspired you to take an adventure of your own. Before I end off, I want you all to think to yourselves, where is your Anywhere Suite Anywhere? Again, my name is Amelia, this is Jen Zoom, and thank you for coming to AdStock. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amelia, and thank you very much to team um, Jen Zoom for showing us your work. We're just waiting now for all of the other teams or the other members of the first team, 4x5, to come back into our call. And they're on their way. They're on their way. <laughs> right. Okay, I think, um, first of all, just a final few thank yous. Thank you again to our clients, Vulture Ireland. Thank you to both teams for doing a great job. If I might suggest that we could all unmute our mics in this Zoom call and maybe give them a little round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> well done guys. And thank you very much to our team of mentors and of course to the judges and the industry for their support. I think we'll say goodbye to our Facebook audience now and <laughs> congratulations to our teams. Thank you very much.